This is the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. American farmers first planted genetically engineered crops in 1996. Today, 80% of the cropland for soybeans, maize, and cotton in the United States is transgenic. Genetic engineering adds or changes genes in a plant to produce desired qualities. The United States is one of 25 countries where farmers planted genetically engineered crops in 2009. An agricultural biotechnology group says planting decreased in Europe, but the amount of cropland planted with the crops rose by an estimated 7% worldwide. The National Research Council, part of the National Academies in Washington, recently published a study. The study examined how genetically engineered crops have affected farming in the United States. It found that many farmers have better harvests, better weed control, and fewer losses from insect damage compared to traditional crops. Larissa Wolfenbarger is a University of Nebraska biology professor and a member of the committee that wrote the report. She says they found that genetically engineered crops can be better for the environment. For example, she noted that crops designed to resist damage by glyphosate need fewer pesticides that are more toxic to the soil. Glyphosate is a chemical used in Roundup and other weed-killing products. But some farmers have used so much glyphosate that a number of kinds of weeds can now resist it. David Irvin of Portland State University in Oregon led the committee that wrote the report. Professor Irvin says this means that some farmers are again using the more toxic herbicides to control weeds. He says the problem needs immediate attention. Earlier this year, a professor at the University of Western Australia commented on the overuse of glyphosate. Stephen Powells wrote about it in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in the United States. He said, glyphosate is as important in worldwide food production as penicillin is in medicine for fighting disease. He called for better use of glyphosate-resistant crop technology. And that's the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. You can comment on our reports at our website, voaspecialenglish.com. You can also get our stories on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at VOA Learning English.